Hello world. I originally was going to make a video about more red flags, like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh no. Um, but I decided that after I left work today and stopped at the grocery store for a quick couple things and I got in line with my 12 items or less. It made me really sad to see all of the tabloids that are there at the register. It seems like there's more and more. Um, there's what? Inquire, Star, OK, um, besides like all the other crazy newspapers like The Post and stuff. and. It just kind of makes you wonder as people who are working for these publications how much of a conscience they have like how well do they sleep at night because when it comes down to it I don't really care how much cellulite people have on their butts when they're at the beach and what stars look like without their makeup on or what celebrities cheating on who and what, you know, certain families are doing and they're pregnant and they can't have a child and so on. It's, it's depressing. And I feel for celebrities, they're just regular people and they can't even walk out of their houses and do normal things. And since, you know, way back in... Charlie Chaplin era, we started idolizing celebrities, people that were different, people that stood out, were making movies, were on television, were models, and so forth. But I think then we treated them more like celebrities, where now people have this thing in them where they have this hatred or jealousy and they have to make those celebrities that are doing well for themselves and are s successful we have to find a way to not like them somehow like we still think they're wonderful but yet we need to know that they're real people which is all fine and good but let's talk about the good things that they've done like I remember uh, was it Samuel Jackson? I forget, but he donated money to a hospital or when Brad Pitt built all of those homes after the hurricane so people had places to live in Louisiana. I mean, really, when you think about it, the whole thing with a tabloid is... Oh, who wore the dress better? And it's, it's really, is it necessary? Like, I've never bought one of those freaking pieces of shit. And then we have, like, oh my god, paparazzi. Paparazzi have become the biggest scavengers for life lately. Like, every celebrity out there is fighting back to have a little bit of privacy, you know? And, and then they get caught up in it because they're so angry because they're not allowed to walk and outside or get in their car or do anything without being their their pictures being snapped all over the place I mean come on find a real freaking career or go to school or take pictures of something that's worth knowing and like people don't need to be hounded and chased down day after day and like it's got to be exhausting for them I feel so bad and the people that are standing there buying tabloids are people that seriously just have no lives. They have to flip through and go, oh, ah, look at them. I mean, really, would you want your life to be all over the place when you go in a, in a store to buy freaking milk and your life is there for everyone to see? Like, really? So I just think, honestly, if I was a journalist, I would make a magazine about everything that celebrities do that's good. Who cares? Everybody doesn't have makeup on all the time. I mean, tomorrow's the first day of spring and I live in Massachusetts and we had a freaking blizzard again today. So hence the beautiful hat because 
I was getting snow piled on my head and makeup. What's the point? I had snow coming on my face. So, I mean, really, we, I think as humans, we just have to start being nicer to each other. I mean, there's so much shit going on in the world. Why can't we just talk about the good? Like, really, I don't think it's fair to everybody to know all these stupid little pieces of dirt. Oh, they were topless. Oh, they were this. So the fuck what? Who cares? Who cares? Let's just focus on better things. Like, I just wanted to take all the tabloids today and be like... (laughs) And jujitsu them all and knock them all down and, like, throw a tantrum. Because, honestly... There's better things that we can be doing with that paper. All right, so that was my little rant today. And um, I hope you enjoyed. And um, have a great Tuesday. Happy spring. Tomorrow. My yard full of snow. <laughs>